Gary Bykirk didn't want to go. In his final days, despite the immense pain, he tried not to fall asleep. He wanted to get to Christmas. And he did. A fighter until the end. Yes, he served in the Vietnam War, earning a Medal of Honor. But it was the compassion that came from his struggles back home that most remember. The fellow veterans he inspired and the students he guided as a local school counselor. We saw the hero. His daughters saw their dad. And they sat down with me this week to talk about that relationship. He imparted to us, to us kids the same thing he imparted to everybody else, you know, just unconditional love, strength, gentleness at the same time. Um, and, you know, we saw his life in it as an example, and it, it, that's helped us live our lives, you know. I could ask him anything, talk to him about anything, and he's so open and just so loving. What was it like to have that discovery that kids of parents with this kind of notoriety, what was it like to have that discovery as a kid because he's probably dad up until a certain point when you start hearing about other yeah. things? My dad was a counselor in our school and I was sitting in there and we were watching a history lesson on the Vietnam War and I sat there and I, you know, I've heard about the Vietnam War but I never really did any extensive uh, research or anything on it and I remember sitting there watching it and all of a sudden I just started crying and I was like, my dad went through this and it really made me appreciate um, who he was because I would have never um, thought that somebody like him had gone through something like that because he was so gentle and humble and caring and compassionate and empathetic. He really loved what he did, you know, but um, it was so wonderful for me to go with him and my mom to Florida this year and um, they did an event, uh, American Airlines put on an event for uh, cancer patients, veterans, and he went and he spoke, and I mean, just watching him speak to people, just one-on-one, -on -one, and the difference that even just a conversation with him made to their lives. He lived a life of service, and, and we were taught to do the same. Speaking of, a lot of people are hurting right now in their own way. You guys are, are suffering. What message do you think that we should take away from his life? What would he say to us right now? I think I touched on it a little bit when I was saying to live a life of significance and purpose. Just recently he had um, a walkway named after him at Olympia High School there, and that's kind of what um, the plaque there said was to uh, make sure that you're always looking to help other people and to um, have purpose in all your decisions and, and everything that you do. And um, that the true comfort and the way to uh, feel those things is, uh, he, he would always lead people to Jesus is really what it was. Living a life for his honor is what's important and because doing it for yourself is not rewarding, even though sometimes it may feel that way, but living a life for his honor and for other people is very important. Faith, a big part of Gary Bykirk's family. And the family did start a fundraiser, by the way, to help the Veterans Outreach Center. You can find that and full interviews with both Stephanie and Sarah over at rochesterfirst.com.